What lengths would you go to for money? Would it extend to concealing a death? In a chilling case that emerged in Kansas, a couple has been charged with fraudulently collecting over $215,000 in retirement benefits on behalf of a deceased relative. The couple, whose names remain undisclosed due to ongoing investigations, allegedly concealed the relative's body within their home for an astounding six years while continuing to deposit and spend money from his bank account. Now, how did they manage to keep this grim secret hidden for so long, you might ask? Family members were led to believe that the relative was still alive through a series of repeated excuses. Ingenious or diabolical, the deception was certainly extensive. The relative's pacemaker was a crucial piece of evidence that eventually led to the unraveling of this macabre plot. The device indicated that the relative passed away as far back as 2016, yet his body was not discovered until 2022. That's a span of six long years. The couple is scheduled to appear in federal court on February 2nd to face charges. And these are not light charges, mind you. They stand accused of a serious crime, punishable by substantial fines and potentially long prison sentences. Prosecutors state that the pension and social security payments received by the deceased relative totaled $216,067, all of which were deposited and cashed by the couple. So, to circle back to the question we started with, what lengths would you go to for money? As this case reveals, some are willing to go to unimaginable lengths. But at what cost? In the end, it's a tale of greed and deception, of a couple who went from caretakers to criminals concealing a death for financial gain. The repercussions of their actions are now coming to light with legal consequences looming. Their story serves as a grim reminder that when it comes to money, ethics should never be compromised.